What up YouTube? This is Enrique again. First of all, thank you for watching and for those of you who subscribed, thank you for doing so and thanks for the comments on my previous video. Now uh, I'm gonna bring you a quick look at the initial setup and a quick walkthrough of Windows Phone 7 running on the Nokia Lumia 900. Alright, so let's go ahead and power up the device and see the initial setup. One thing I gotta say is that this thing is a fingerprint magnet. I don't know if you guys can see that on the video. I am assuming that uh, Nokia did not include an oleophobic coating on this thing. Um, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's a special coating uh, that some uh, devices have and uh, helps with fingerprints. It doesn't totally get rid of them but it does help a little bit alright so let's go ahead and see what's going on here welcome to your Nokia Lumia 900 get started you want to do English In terms of use we're just gonna accept that we want to do the recommended settings Pacific time and I am going to be required to sign in with my Windows Live ID. I am assuming this is going to be the same ecosystem Google has on Android where they uh, get you to sign in with your uh, Gmail account so that they can um, back up your contacts and um, buy apps. So let me go ahead and uh, sign in and I'll be right back. Alright, so I just signed in with my Windows Live account took some time to install some apps apparently it's done so let's just go ahead and hit next it's all done bingo that's Windows Phone 7 for you running on the Nokia Lumia 900 uh, and I gotta tell you guys this operating system looks very polished nothing compared to what Windows Mobile used to be it's uh, very intuitive, very easy to navigate, very very straightforward, and uh, it runs it runs very smoothly. I I don't see any lag whatsoever, uh, given the fact that it's just a single core processor. You get your phone app, you get your uh, voicemails. You can dial here your contacts and search function and as you can see there is no lag on this thing it Windows runs very smoothly we get the people hub I haven't set it up yet but this is where you will have access to all your contacts and it has this what's new section it's very interesting I'm very eager to try this when you sign in uh, with your Facebook or Twitter account you will see all the updates of all your friends right here all right. let's go back and again guys it's just it just runs very smoothly this is the messaging app I already got a message there just welcome in Windows Phone 7 that's my hotmail right there and you do get some pre-installed AT&T apps this is the Uber's app Internet Explorer is gonna be the default web browser and this is really nice it locks you into your Xbox account you can see my little avatar running in there I'm hoping there are gonna be some games that are gonna be compatible with that and get some achievements uh, your calendar pictures and the pictures app serves does the same thing as, as the people hub it actually has this column right here when you again are logged into your Facebook or Twitter or any I don't know what social network it supports you will see only pictures in here and the pictures you've taken with your camera roll so it's really nice you know I'm, I'm very eager to try all this stuff and show you guys how it works music and videos are gonna be done through zoom music videos 
podcast, radio, and marketplace. Let's see what else? That's you know that's the uh, marketplace right here. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm gonna be honest. The one thing that has been keeping me from switching to Windows Phone 7 is actually the apps. I just read that they just passed the 70,000 app mark, but I I don't know if they're gonna have the apps that uh, I use every day and, and very essential to me. Uh, I'm gonna look and see what I can find. Hopefully, if they don't have the same app, they will have an equivalent that I can use. Um, I see Netflix already, so that's a good sign. Some random games in there. Music. You can search. Bank of America. There's a Nokia collection. So Nokia actually partnered up with um, many, uh, a lot of companies, I guess, to get some exclusive content. You will see CNN, ESPN content in there. I'm going to download all of these apps and show you guys how they work and what's the big deal about them. But it's just the Nokia collection. Just take a look at the apps. Oh, that's nice. Skydrive. I really want to try this. You get 25 gigs of uh, cloud storage. These are the categories right here. New top Angry Birds. I was just very disappointed to hear that actually um, Angry Birds Space was not released for Windows Phone 7. I'm hoping that they're gonna release it soon. Okay. Let me just look at. Some games in there. Xbox Live Live games. Alright, so enough of that stuff. You get AT&T Navigator, AT&T Radio, ESPN, Local Scout. And me. I guess it's just gonna give you all the information about yourself. Right, and again, you have a code scanner, AT&T radio, bunch of stuff in there, your calculator, help, how to, and your settings. Oh, and um, the default uh, video application I guess is gonna be Tango which is really nice a lot of people are using that so um, that's Windows Phone 7 running on the Nokia Lumia 900 alright so before I leave I wanted to leave you with a couple of comments from my previous video I think they're very valid Kermand Grant wants us to know that it is an AMOLED screen not Super AMOLED or Super AMOLED Plus it is an AMOLED screen they're calling clear black which uses light polarization to help see the screen when outside. Very nice considering how difficult it is to see AMOLED displays in direct sunlight. Also Max404S is saying that it is a polycarbonate plastic not aluminum. It feels amazing but he's warning us that it'll, it'll scratch easily. He has the Nokia Lumia 800 and he has some scratches and dents, so it's not as sturdy as it looks. Alright, thank you for watching guys. Please feel free to subscribe. And if you like this video and you feel like being awesome, please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments and suggestions for what you want to see on the full review. I've been reading all the comments and we'll take all of them into account. For the review, I want this to be a review that will be useful for you to make a decision whether this device is right for you or not. Also, I have LTE here in Southern California, so I'm eager to put that to the test and see how fast those speeds really are. Alright, uh, thank you for watching again. Uh, stay tuned and see you next time. Peace.